Hi there, this is Joe from Square XO and this is episode 49. I'm joined by Dan. Hello. And Rebecca. Hello. Right, before we start, don't forget to follow us on twitter.com slash square underscore XO, twitch.tv slash square XO, we're on youtube.com slash square XO, our website's squarexo.co.uk, we're on iTunes, we're on Podbean and patreon.com slash square XO. Remember to leave us some nice reviews and some nice five stars. One, two, three, mm-hmm. four, five. So, there we go. Okay, I think I remember, so I'm not going to go on any more about that. So, straight into the news. Right, I've got quite a bit of news, so I'm just going to crack on. There's two new DualShock 4 colours announced. Did anyone see that? Yeah. yeah. I've got a um, still black one from Japan. Okay. One of the old ones, the version 1 ones. So, I'm, yeah. Because it's quite nice, though. Yeah, well, I'm going to get another one, I think, because it's a nice okay. colour. I like the blue yeah, one, the nice. midnight one. Yeah, the, the, yeah. the midnight one. Yeah, quite like that. Have I got one of them? No, I don't have. They're both quite nice. The, so we've got, like you say, this sort of steel gun, metal gun black. I think don't know what its actual <laughs> name is. Still black, steel I black. think, yeah. Yeah, and midnight blue. So, yeah, they were quite nice. Just thought I'd mention them. They're obviously been out before really then haven't they but they're just the new versions with the yeah with the structures yeah. at the top uh, the playstation plus game has been announced for what is it february february oh, february yep so that's knack for ps4 the original rhyme which we all know about and we've probably mm-hmm. talked about on numerous occasions star yeah. blood arena psvr spelunker hd for ps3 Mugs and Soul Z for PS3, XL Zen for Vita, and Grand Kingdom for Vita and PS4. Also, if you if you're a brand new PlayStation Plus subscriber, you get Far Cry 4 for free. If you just sign up now, then you'll get that game for free. So that's pretty cool, I guess. Yeah, it's not a bad month, is it? I think. It's pretty good. Well, I'm sure some people will still moan, but Rhyme's an excellent <laughs> game, uh, and uh, everyone with PS Plus should download it and play it. And then even that's not bad. It's just old. Yeah, it's so, alright. It's a long game. Yeah. But it's fun enough, I guess. Yeah. Uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 has finally been dated. That's October 26, 2018. So, probably not to see many other games come out around about that <laughs> week. <laughs> no. I'm Do you think they hit that? To... What was that? Do you think they hit that date? Yeah, I think so. I don't think they would... De- well, sometimes they delay, don't they? But I think the fact that they've announced it, they're probably fairly constant that's coming out then. But we'll see Is that the again. first date it's had? Yeah. yeah well, it's, it's it was very vague like before. spring and all that spring, sort of thing. Before. So I think it's kind of been delayed, but it's never had an official date, I don't think. so. Right. Yeah. When did GTA 5 come out? Was that in an October month? Did they bring that out towards the end of the year? I know that was yonks ago. Yeah, I think it was round about the same sort of time, eh? I yeah. think. I can't really remember 100%. I think PS4 and that, it might have come out a bit later. Like in the March or oh, something for PS4 yeah. and Xbox One. But I think the original release in PS3 and Xbox 360 was round about that sort of time of year. But I can't be 100% sure. Christmas number one, do we reckon that's going to be? I wouldn't be surprised. It could be, but you've still got FIFA. And yeah. All that same and old, that. same old. I know, don't people get bored of FIFA? <laughs> well, I, mean, oh, and I do get bored of it, and then, I like it. again, I sort of go through phases. Like I played it when it first came out. I was playing it all sort of through when it first came out and through the following month, and then I've got bored of it again now. And I'll probably yeah. I'll probably start playing it again in a few months. So it's the sort when, of game I I get bored of, but then I not bored of. I sort of dip in and dip out. out. Yeah. yeah. But when I don't play it, I don't play it, and when I do, I play it loads. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I suppose it gets to the point where you want to go back in, and you're like, oh, I need the new one because I need all the new players because it's all up to date so yeah i mean mm-hmm. i've bought them every year and then i end up getting bored of them and but then that's crazy again. so it's kind of you always buy me. them yeah it's kind of worth it i guess for me because i always do get quite a lot out of them but i just go through months where i can't be bothered i think it, what happens is with this ultimate team i build my team up 
to the way I want it. And once I've got it where I want it, I don't play it anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Someone asked us a question about that, didn't they? Why doesn't FIFA get bashed for loot boxing them when they did for Battlefront? I don't really know enough about Ultimate Team, whether whether they lock content out through money or not. You can still earn players, right? You don't have to buy stuff, do you, all the time? No, you can still earn it in-game, but it's a lot quicker if you buy it, probably. But yeah. At, at least there's ways to earn the gold packs and stuff, So, and it all comes down to work okay, anyway, so you're just paying out for the gold packs if you, if you want to build your team quicker. Otherwise, mm. you just can grind and earn the points and earn the packs, and hopefully you'll get the luck to get a decent player. So it's kind of, there is a chance to sort of build your team with it, spend money. I always yeah. end up buying the bloody pack, so I do, so I can build my team quicker. <laughs> Drawn into it, you're, you're part of the problem. Yeah, anyway, well. <laughs> <laughs> gone off topic Yes, yeah, four so. shipments, now past 76.5 million consoles. Interestingly, the PS3 sold 83.8 million, and the PS4 is now at 76.5, so... I wrote hashtag soon because obviously yeah. it's not going to be long before PS4 passes PS3, but still. And sticking with sort of Sony, Kaz Harari will step down as boss on April 1st. So, is that a joke? Or is he uh, going? No, he's going. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was a joke, and then I thought, is that a joke? So, But no, it says it's not a joke, so I presume right. it's true. Think that had much effect on the PlayStation part of the business? Nah, but he's done a good job, so hats off to him. I mean, he's completely yeah. turned it down since he took over. I mean, completely. Because he used to be PlayStation boss, didn't he? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he became boss of Sony as a whole. But uh, he's sort of done a fantastic job. I mean, he's turned the company around completely. They're Is he going on to something else, as he said? I don't know. Maybe he'll just sort of retire now. I don't know how old he is. So mm. Who knows? Uh, PS4 firmware 5.50. The sort of details leaked. I'm, I'm a bit tested, but I've not actually got it yet. So I'm just going by what others have said. There's some of the features include system-wide super sampling. So the description for this is super sampling mode can improve the image quality of some games on a TV with 2K resolution or lower. Results may differ depending on the games, and some games' image quality may not improve or the frame rate may change. <laughs> That's one of the main features. Uh, also, now you can hide purchases. So in the purchased tab of your PS4, you can tick the option to not to show content. So if it's mm -hmm. like a beta you've downloaded or a demo or whatever, you can just hide them okay. so, to make it a bit cleaner, which is quite nice. Yeah. And also... Delete notifications, so when you get in your notifications, you can press triangle to delete them from your list now, which is cool. quite a simple yeah. thing, because you weren't able to do that before. So, uh, yeah, there Be we go. Be a bit cleaner now, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it sounds like we're getting a new Crash Bandicoot game. I told Nicole this yesterday. <laughs> quite She's happy about that. The boss of GBI, which is a sort of uh, merchandise company, I guess, said that the trilogy that was previously released the Crash Bandicoot and Saint Trilogy. That's coming to Switch and PC in this oh, really? year. And a new game will be released in 2019. So there we go. It's quite cool. It's not coming to Xbox then, no? No, there was no mention of Xbox for some yeah. reason. But it's quite interesting that uh, there's a new Crash game coming because it sold so well it just seemed a no-brainer, really. Yeah, you kind of wonder, though, Will people buy a new one? Because were they buying the old one for nostalgic reasons? But I'm sure that still sell really well. Yeah, I just I'm do... sure people have been asking for a new Crash game, so I'm sure it will sell well. But it depends whether Activision makes it up or not. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> need to keep sell. close to the formula, don't they? Activision's recent efforts at sort of platform anything like that I haven't really. I mean, they've been good at doing their Destiny because obviously Bungie do that in their Call of Duties, but it depends who they're going to get and make this crash game. If it's a brand new from the ground up crash game, then it'll be like, hmm, I don't know about that one. But if it's something like Crash Team Racing or something remastered, 
Maybe it's mm -hmm. just going to be another yeah, remastered yeah. game. Could be. In which Could case, be, yeah. I think They're very popular, aren't they, around this time? I think Crash Team Racing, a lot of people's asking for that, so if that's what's being remastered next, then I think that will sell really well. So, yeah. Uh, there's a God of War PS4 Pro bundle coming. Details is kind of thin in the ground, but I saw the box art and it was got Kratos and his son on it in this sort of black box. There's no, there wasn't any word of whether it was a sort of custom console or anything. Because you certainly do a tell from the box art. But it Is it bad I've never played a God of War game? I've not either. So good. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely love God. I never put I always because when I had PS2 I always saw it and I thought, always thought to myself what's that what is yeah. that God of War and I thought to myself I wonder what that is and, <laughs> and I just ignored it and then I yeah. played it for the first time PS3 and I was like oh my god how did I miss this yeah it's so good it's, <laughs> it's sort of like it's just Darksiders it's just yeah. the same thing as that where you just sort of go along and bash them up but your character grows and advances as you as you play through mm -hmm. but, and it's just mad and every time you meet a creature it seems to get bigger and bigger yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, got, it's just crazy but it's just the action's so amazing really fast and smooth and I really like the storytelling and obviously they're stepping that up a gear this time round completely so I think this one is definitely one to play, really. I think it's going yeah. to be awesome. And just for the charts, Sony today announced a new PS4 Gold wireless headset. It's, it's kind of like one I've got ready, the wireless 2.0. It's the black one with the blue inside, you know the one I mean? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so it's a new version of that, basically. And uh, it offers enhanced comfort dual noise cancelling mics and 7.1 virtual surround sound so that'll be nice and it's, it's not much improved. different it's been proven designed so that you can use it with psvr a bit more comfortably as well so yeah yeah i prefer the way it looks i think but i don't know if i because i've already got one of the old ones i don't think i'd invest again yeah, yeah, yeah. i was thinking that i think if you were going to invest you should probably go the one up and get the platinum headset because that's got the 3d surround yeah sort of sound that comes from all different directions up down and all around do you ever i never really use headsets though when i'm playing it's very very rare I tend to just play through the, the surround sound yeah instead i, I tend to what prefer to listen through TV, but if I'm in bed, for instance, playing a game, I don't want to wake me up, then maybe I would use it. Mm. Or, or yeah, if I, I want to watch a movie, sort of, and walk it or the noise, I might use it. It's good to yeah. as well. The only time I've ever used headphones while playing a game is when I've played Hellblade, and that's because everybody told yeah. me I had to play it with headphones. Like Everyone was like, don't you dare play it with TV surround sound. Get your headphones yeah. on. Because I think for me it's the same with the, you know, like I always say with VR, I don't want to wear a VR in my own house. I think yeah. I feel the same with headphones. I don't want to block out the world with headphones. Mm. So I don't know, there must be some weird mental thing there. But yeah. Well, I'm exactly the same though. So we both got it. Yeah. yeah I mean, I, I'm the same. I don't really like using them. But I mean, I think those head, those wireless 2.0, they are really good headphones when you put them on and the sound's just amazing when you play games and you just feel like you're right in there. They are yeah, amazing. I've always got to charge mine, though. Every time I go to use them, they're dead. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. yeah. Okay, and uh, the charts. Anyone want to guess what's top? Um, yeah, Grand yeah. Theft Auto? Yeah. Nah. It came out recently. <laughs> Impatient? Oh, That's Monster Hunter. Oh, yeah. yeah let's see. Is it? <laughs> what about number two? Grand Theft Auto? No, it's UFC. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto has got to be up there. So. <laughs> UFC, well, that's a bit that's surprise, surprising. Yeah, it came out on Friday, didn't it? Monster Hunter, UFC 3, Call of Duty, FIFA, Grand Theft Auto. A is in there. That's top five. <laughs> top ten is Dragon Ball Fighter Z, Mario Kart, Super Mario Odyssey, This is the Final Fantasy, and Legend of Zelda. So it's a few Switch oh, games. A few Switch titles cracking back in, yeah. They've been on sale. 
Uh, I doubt it. I don't normally put things like Zelda and Mario on sale. No. <laughs> no, true. It's just weird that they're still. Well, it's not. That's doing maybe it a disservice. But nearly a year. Maybe, maybe people uh, have been paid yeah. after Christmas. Yeah, yeah maybe. Finally. <laughs> what do you yeah. call Mario games are a bit like iPhones. They never tend to as their value, do they? Yeah, no. they're always a surprise. So um, they who going, oh, I might just pick up one on the cheap. They'll be waiting a long time. They're not. It's funny that, isn't it? Because you think of other games. I mean, you could probably name five, six new releases that came out in November, and I bet the majority of them are already half the price. Mm, Evil, um, oh, within two. Yeah. That's nineteen ninety nine now. That came out in October. Yeah. yeah, it's bad, isn't it? Really, you wait years or months for a game to come out you buy it on release and then if you'd have waited that month, <laughs> yeah you get a lot more but yeah it's crazy does some games hold their value at fifa generally stays until the next fifa expensive. comes out so that's still down about 40 quid at the moment because mm -hmm. let's have a look at that front too i wonder what that what price that is That'll be an interesting one because obviously Battlefront 2. No, that's still about forty pound as well, which is interesting because obviously everybody was saying, "Oh, that's not going to sell or whatever." Mm. Whereas, uh, I trying. I mean, there's games that came out. What else came out in November? It's probably the sort of smaller oh, God, ones. I can't remember. Well, Wolfenstein I think, 2. Yeah, Wolfenstein 2 is yeah, quite cheap. Those, those Bethesda games, they all. About ten of each or something. <laughs> yeah, we were, well, I think we touched upon that before, didn't we? They're they they always drop in it's price. It's always with uh, yeah. 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 Call of Duty, they're obviously that's still expensive. So I mean, I think the ones, the ones that uh, the ones that are popular, kind of keep their price, whereas the ones everybody's thinking, oh, I'm not sure about that. They kind of drop off <laughs> really quickly. So they do. Yeah. I mean, Horizon's still. I mean, the original Horizon's twenty five quid, but the new complete edition that's got thirty five. So I think, but Uncharted's twenty two. So obviously that's still quite expensive, dude, because that's roughly how much it was anyway when it came out, isn't it? I'm sure I saw a tweet yesterday where Tesco's were selling Horizon for eight pound. <gasps> really? Yeah, the new, the ultimate, or the, the ultimate, yeah, the collection. Yeah. It's yeah, crazy. It's a mistake. That pricing error. Yeah, I think it must have been. Yeah, because <laughs> that's like you say, that's a mental price. That is but crazy. Yeah, if you look through the most popular games, like things like the things that sold best last year: Crash Bandicoot, and Call of Duty, and all that sort of thing. They they also tend to keep their price. It's only those ones that uh, you'd maybe think to yourself for. Oh, that's not going to sell, and generally, if they don't sell, the price drops quite quickly. Yeah. So, um, and generally, that's the Bethesda games because for some reason they don't tend to sell very well. For some reason, don't know why. Mm. I'm not. Has MD played that Assassin's Creed the Legends? No. No. Well, Nicole has. Yeah, I was going to say to. Nicole. I thought it was in Nicole's top games i think, I think was, she yeah. was really liking it yeah so it yeah i haven't played i it. want to play it but i don't know i'm still a bit put off by the assassin's creed badge yeah but, um i will get probably get around to playing it later this year i'm just waiting for a <laughs> for a price drop as we were just talking don't about think i'm really that fussed about it i've i've i don't know even the last thing i the last thing i seriously played was probably battlefront 2 sort of face to life for strange games and and I've, I've got one of those Batmans to play actually now the Batman enemy within didn't you buy that Dan? Yeah I did I downloaded the, the season pass but I've, I've not not played it yet and I'm with you Nicole, uh, Rebecca sorry, <laughs> on um on Assassins as well I think with the, the name the, yeah the just the fact that it's been dragged through the mud a little bit just puts me off a it's little a bit, bit yeah i don't know the bit I, the demo i played was so good that's what makes me want to play it the demo yeah. and it's like i want to go back and play a bit more although they've always got the same sort of premise the way they play that they do change a lot the settings mm -hmm. and the stories and stuff so they're quite different from each other really i've not really been bothered about 
the last one I played was the one based in London. What was that? Syndicate, was it? Syndicate. Yeah. yeah that was the last one. I, I think my son Jordan, he played the Legends and he didn't like it. So that kind of was enough for me to go, oh, okay, I'm not going to bother. <laughs> it reviewed quite well, though, didn't it? I it did, yeah. People did seem to, well, I mean, some of the screenshots we've had for the, the monthly competitions have, you know, been been amazing. It looks amazing. But not that that's everything. No, exactly. Yeah. Something different, Andy. So, okay. So, well, since we're talking about single player games, we may as well talk about a topic, I guess. Yes, I think so. Mm-hmm. Was, so, Rebecca, what was our topic? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to pull it up? It was. Oh, God. Under pressure now. It was. Um, what's the ideal length for a single player game, in our opinion? How long is too long? <laughs> Essentially, yeah. yeah. See, I'm, well, I'm probably completely opposite from most people because I really like a sort of short, punchy campaign. Like, take something like Uncharted or, or even some of the Call of Duty campaigns, say Modern Warfare. Was it Modern Warfare? Some of the ones, as long as they've got a good story, I'm quite happy. Mm. Whatever the length is, as long as it leaves an impact on me. Yeah. And I just, I go into it, I play it, and I finish it going, wow, that was amazing. I don't care if it's four hours long. If, if, it's, <laughs> if it's had that effect on me, I don't care. Because I've played some games that are 20, 30, 40 hours long, and they, to me, they tend to lose a bit of that wow factor after a while because they start to get repetitive. A lot of those games that are that long tend to send you on fetch quests all the time. And it just yeah. feels yeah. like it's being dragged out. So a, a Zelda is a perfect example of that, man. Because you're having to keep going doing all these different things just to get to your end task. So I think it kind of loses a bit of its appeal in that respect. Uh, Things Dark Siders does it a little bit as well. Dark Siders Two is a bit more like that, where you kind of get dragged for one place they are to f- complete this task before you can move on to the next bit, and and sometimes it can feel a bit repetitive, but also sometimes it can feel a bit empty. But I thought Near was a bit like that, where you'd go and do your task, but in between on your way to the task or whatever it just felt a bit empty and mm. a bit, which kind of was is that sort of impact for me i just really like a game to go almost be movie like and the fact that it will just be non-stop sort of in your face boom 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 and then it's finished and you're just like wow that was great <laughs> that's almost like. so that's almost the failing of open world games as opposed to generally single player games isn't it because in order mm. to make an open world game bigger they add in all those fetch cl- quests and like massive walks or drives between uh, outposts or whatever whereas if you've got something like lost legacy where it's pretty much from a to b apart from chapter five but you know that it, it can only be a certain length because you're being driven down a path that you have to go you're not being given this world to explore but some mm. games, if I take Skyrim, for example, that to me was the perfect length and it took me 20 hours to complete it. But you didn't do any side quests, did you? Uh, you probably had to do a few because you had to do them just, or you'd done them by mistake or whatever when you were on your way to the next one. But <laughs> it's not a sort of, it's not the same sort of in your face game anyway because you do need to go from A to B quite a lot. Yeah. And, but, for some reason, it just kind of didn't bother me. I just thought it was the perfect win for that game. I thought it was good. But but others, I just can't be doing with some. But I just think drag on too long. It also depends on if you're enjoying it or not. Exactly, yeah. Exactly. That was going to be my point. Yeah. Because I was enjoying Skyrim, so it could have lasted forever, and I'd have been quite happy playing it. But when, yeah. whereas other games got near that I just didn't enjoy so I was mm. playing it, and I'm going for ATB, and I'm going, oh, this is rubbish. <laughs> but, so, I mean, it's just got, 
it's got to say, I think that comes into it a lot if you're enjoying it or not, doesn't it? That's a big factor in it. Yeah. yeah. So, also, also, as an adult these days, time is less... Uh, we have less time, sorry, you know. We have less to come by. So if you've got a single-player game like Persona 5, which was 100 hours just to finish it, you kind of think that that's too long, almost, it took me eight months because I don't have the time to invest into a game, whereas something like Lost Legacy took me a weekend. Mm. And for me, I'd rather do that and move on and have a 12-hour single-player game than I would a 100-hour one. Yeah, that's how I feel. I quite like games. That's why I, I think that's why I like Sony's first-party games so much because generally you can complete them in a weekend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, which is really good because... Completing it that fast, you do get the impact. It sort of sticks in your memory a bit more than something you've maybe spent hours on. Yeah. Have you finished Hellblade yet, Becky? Um, no, I'm about halfway through oh, it. I just wondered because that's a good, another good example of kind of a single player game that's a decent length, like a fair length. So. Yeah. So what I was going to say is, um, I think I kind of lean more towards the. I guess anywhere between 10 and 30 hours because I really like getting into a game and knowing that it's got this immersive world that I can just spend, you know, the next month or so, you know, just playing. But at the same time, um, I really loved games like Little Nightmares and that was four hours long. And then I've also been daunted when I've been faced with games that are really long. And I know, for example, if I'd not enjoyed The Witcher as much as I had, I would have stopped when I heard that it was a 200-hour-ish game. So I think you're right. I think it does very largely depend on your enjoyment of the certain game because obviously you are putting your time into something. So what's the point of putting your time into something you don't enjoy when you could spend hours and hours on end doing something you do actually enjoy? Yeah. It's a, it mm-hmm. is tough because, I mean, there's a, like I said, there are games that are really long that I've enjoyed. I mean, I've spent hours on Dark Side of Skyrim and I just really, really enjoyed them. I've, I used to play EverQuest, geez, and that was, I know that's not single player, but geez, I put, must have put hundreds. I had to sp- physically stop myself playing it. So that's yeah. when I first met Lisa, and I would sit in her room, and I'd sit at the computer playing it, and I'd just get completely lost in it, and I think I would <laughs> just spend hundreds of hours a week playing it, and it's like, oh, I need to stop this. Yeah. Because it's just got too much sort of thing. <laughs> yeah. Do you think, though, that people feel short change these days if they buy a game for 40 quid and it lasts 12 hours? I think so. I don't. I I, just from what... Maybe... Um, I don't know. It's hard for me to say, actually, for the 40-hour thing, but I've seen people spend, um, you know, £20, £24 on... Once again, going back to you know games like Little Nightmares and Inside, and then the first thing they've said is, "Well, it was really short, so I wasted my money on it." So I guess yeah. if you like, bump that up to forty hours for, uh, sorry, forty pounds for like a twelve to fifteen hour game, it's sort of looking at the same sort of thing. Mm. Yeah, but if you think about some of the best reviewed games of last year, like the Uncharted or yeah, of course, uh, Mario and all that, they're all they aren't really the biggest games in the world. And mm. Most of them, most of Best games last year are actually not that, not that long. Yeah, I think there will always be people though who complain about like for what they've purchased. They always want that little bit more. There's always an exception to the rule, yeah, for sure. With yeah. any game, you know, it doesn't matter if it's ten hours long. It doesn't matter if it's a hundred hours long. There will always be one person who goes, "I paid, you know, for what I paid, I would have expected a little bit more than that." Even if it's you know they just wanted one more mission or one more chapter. There'll always be, you know, at least one person who's unhappy with the length of their single player game. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think so. I'm just looking up the, the, the highest rated games of last year quickly. See how long they were. So PS4, or well, the highest rated game of last year was Persona 5. So they go, oh, throws, wow. the, throws the, um, <laughs> the argument straight out the window. Exactly. That's got 93. And it's the longest game of last year, probably. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. It's a, it is because it's so it's so personal and so subjective that it's a difficult one. I I yeah. I prefer a shorter game these days. Mm-hmm. One that I can finish. 
Exactly. I, can say, I, don't, I don't even know if I can say I prefer a shorter game. I think I can just say I prefer a game that leaves a impact on me when I start it, face it, and however long it is. If it's if it's sort of with me, sort of like wow, then I'm quite happy. However long, generally that, generally from experience, that's from a bit between seven to ten hours. I would say. Yeah. Just well, again. The games that spring to mind, that's generally the average of how long they last, I would say. Rhyme's about six or seven hours, and that's really good, and that was something that really stuck with me. So, yeah, mm. I think sometimes you can maybe make people more aware by making it shorter, make them want more, leave them wishing that something else happened rather than kind of boring them to death or, or dragging Yeah, you w- I think... The games that have, um, you know, the most negative reviews are ones that people feel like were dragged out and they could have stopped a little bit shorter, but they thought, oh, for the audience, people always want a little bit more and they gave a little bit more, but too much, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I guess that's why Uncharted 4 was quite good because it was a good length campaign and then they just sort of threw that little bit on at the end that almost felt like an add-on, didn't really feel like part of the game. Yeah. With his daughter, sort of thing. Yeah, and also I, I'm slightly different to you guys in that I'll play a game and I'll try to so that I get all the trophies. So I kind of get extra value if if that's how you view it and how you know by by doing that as well. So I don't tend to just play a game and finish it and then move on. I I'll, I'll keep playing through. So I suppose for me sometimes if a game is really long or boring having to do three or four playthroughs really tars the experience as well mm. you know if a game's brilliant like lost legacy and uncharted i'm happy to play it two or three times because it's fun um exactly yeah exactly but, i mean yeah. i think i've played the original uncharted and uncharted 2 and 3 i think i've played them a good few times and completed them a good few times because i like them so much yeah so i'm quite happy to do that if i enjoy the game don't know how many times I've played Skydam. <laughs> yeah. Woods. So, I mean, I'm quite happy to keep playing if I enjoy the experience. So, but Do you guys know. watch films more than once? Yeah, yeah I, I, I do all the time. Yeah. How many times have I watched Star Wars? Oh, my God. <laughs> Hundreds of times. I, I do yeah. the same with TV series as well. I will watch a whole, t- what, I, I think, two and a half men. Now, whatever's quite funny, I read The War for <laughs> Frasier, and I've watched all of them. About eight times. <laughs> yeah. So it's a similar kind of mentality, isn't it? Some people don't like to retread old ground, yet others will what have a like a go to film or a go to game that could be forever, just last forever. Oh yeah, I, 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 there's certain movies I'd love to watch over and over again. I've I do that all the time. It's just I quite like it if I've not seen it for a while or whatever. Yeah. Kind That's of like a comfort blanket. About Netflix. You can just sort of go, oh, not watch that for a while, and just bung it on. It's right there in front of you. That's mm-hmm. kind of why I'd quite like a sort of Netflix for games. A bit what PS Now, I guess, where you just sort of flicking through them all, and you go, oh, not played that in a while, and you can yeah. just play it. So I think just dip in and dip out mm-hmm. kind of thing. I think that's why I like having a digital library as well, because I might, I would never look at my shelf full of games and go oh, I must play that because I'm just probably too lazy to get up get the disc yeah. and put it in whereas if I'm just bored and I'm just flicking through the TV and I see it I might go oh I quite fancy playing that and just put it straight on <laughs> yeah. instant gratification <laughs> it's cool yeah. 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 So, yeah. So that's quite good that is yeah. okay, that was a good topic uh, what else we got to talk about? I wonder if people can let us know what they think. We should throw that out. Let's get some engagement. Maybe we could do a poll or something like how long is the perfect game? Let's give a shout. Yeah. yeah. That's good Just thing. see what people think. And then, you know, some game developers can listen and try and please the masses. <laughs> uh, should we talk about what we've been playing? Yeah. yeah. If we've been playing anything. I know, again, it's been another week that's gone by in the flash of an eye. Yeah. yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Do you want to Did go I, first, then Dan? Yeah, I I'll go first. Is that what you said? Sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I I probably mentioned this last week because I've not had much time. But I started playing Tearaway. Did I say that? 
Yeah. So that's all I've been playing though. Just just tear away. I played it for about two hours. I'm I'm trying to get all my work done so tomorrow when Shadow comes because I was mm. hoping to have it at the weekend but I didn't get it. So oh gosh, that's coming out so soon, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm trying to kind Completely of get forgot. through my work and work really hard so that I can just spend the day tomorrow playing that. Um, I saw sure s- the release day is Wednesday. Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I saw someone on Twitter over the weekend, I I think it was a Dutch journalist or something, had just platinumed it. So I kind of asked how long that took and stuff, because I really want to aim for that. And he did his speed run in an hour and 46 minutes. Really? So talking of lengths of game, you can finish Shadow on hard in an hour and three quarters if you're good, apparently. (laughs) I mean, God knows how he did it, but yeah. I'm I'm well excited, though. Just everything about it just looks and sounds amazing. So. Yeah, it does. It's quite exciting. I'm going to pick it up digitally, I think. Yeah. How much is it, do you know, digitally? Just out of I think interest. it's about 30 quid. So a couple, five pounds or so more than yeah. online. Yeah. yeah. I've got £20 credit in my PSN already, though, so... Ah, bargain. Then. Nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm so excited for that. That's just... I don't know what much about what else is out this year. Really, not much more excites me. This is this is brilliant. This is so exciting. <laughs> yeah, well, looking forward to that. Quite a lot that excite me a bit this year. So yeah, I'm excited for what a game. So you just got to hope they actually come out this year. Yeah, don't want any more just, We all picked five, didn't we? So there there are some games, but just yeah, at the just... moment, I'm just just Shadow of the Colossus. That's that's me. Yeah. yeah. yeah what about you? One on the horizon. What have you been playing, Rebecca? Um, not too much. So I played a little bit more Hellblade. I'm probably about, like I said, about halfway through now. Still really enjoying that. Um, I do like my single player narratives, and I feel like it's been quite a while since I did one of those. The last yeah. few games I've been playing have been open world, and um, you know, so I did Far Cry Primal and Far Cry Four back to back. And then I've been playing a bit of Stardew Valley, which Nicole got me. Um, but yeah, mostly just dipping in and out of games. I did do um, all 48 courses on Mario Kart 8 on the Switch, random, with my boyfriend and his brother. And it took us about three and a half hours to do all 48 oh. courses. That was fun. Um, obviously not exactly a new game or anything too exciting, but um, yeah, that was good fun. And uh, some uh, relationships and friendships were definitely damaged during that <laughs> evening. It was very yeah. stressful. Oh. Haven't they announced... Um... They announced a mobile version of Mario. They have, yeah. I don't, I don't know how that will work. I'm sure. So like, it could go saucy. both ways. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It might just be a bit like Mario Run, where the cart moves automatically, and then you just have oh, to press yeah. the button or something to make it do stuff. So. Maybe I can't. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Could work. Could. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Are you picking up Shadow of the Colossus this week? I am. It is obviously. I'm. Don't get it before release date, which is a shame. But um, yeah. Yeah, I've got a day off tomorrow, which is so annoying because I would love to spend tomorrow playing it. And obviously it's not out. But I'm only at uni for an hour and a half on Wednesday, so I'm going to come back and play it all evening, yeah. essentially. Good. I'm yeah. so excited. Yeah, you're so lucky that you've not played it before. I know. And it's the first game I've reviewed in about two months. So I'm really excited as well for that reason. Yeah, you'll you're have fun. <laughs> I think I know I love it. I just loved um Ico and uh Last Guardian, so I know it'll be down my street. And what about you, Joe? What have you been playing? <sighs> uh, <laughs> I did download the eps the recent episode of Batman Yeah. Thing, but I've not actually started it yet. Uh I played a little bit on Monster Hunter again, but I think I'm that's a bit I've not really played much because I've just been so busy, but uh, I think... Have you hit the ceiling with Monster Hunter now? Are you kind of feeling like it's just (laughs) being repetitive again? Yeah, I think with Monster Hunter, I've I've not even played that much yet, about an hour or something, I've just no time, and I just think I've... I quite like it, but I think I've just got to the stage where I'm thinking to myself, I don't really want to commit to it because it's one of these games that's just going to hours and hours and hours to play. Yeah. And I just don't think I'm really that bothered. I think mm-hmm. I'd rather just have a game I can just jump in there and again, especially when I'm busy. I'd, 
maybe if I had a bit more time I'd sit down and play it, but I think, like we were talking about earlier, I would just rather have games I can sit and play and know I can get through them, rather than yeah. games I'm going to leave. Cause I can't. Yeah. It's a bit like the last game, you know, I played Need for Speed Payback as well, and I put a bit of time into that, and then I'm thinking to myself, oh, do I really want to sit and complete the campaign, then play more player, just keep bored. But at least with games like that, you can just pick it up now and again and have one race or whatever, then put it down again. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, yeah I, that fun. commitment is, that's kind of one of the reasons I don't like watching American TV. It's because the commitment most of the time. So, you know, I haven't watched any Game of Thrones and everyone's like, oh, it's so good, you should watch it. And I feel <laughs> like, amazing. but there's like a hundred hours so to watch episodes. and I it just cannot really be good. bothered. I just... <laughs> See, I don't Game have of Thrones, I watched them as they came out each week, so it wasn't yeah. so bad. <laughs> yeah, that's it. But now I just feel like I'm just, yeah, too, there's too much. It's too, it's too yeah. Yeah, Game of Thrones overload, so I just can't be bothered. And like you say, some games are a bit like that. You just feel like oh, I can't be bothered with that overload. Just want to sit down. And... I think Sorry. I'm just going to try stage at a moment where now what, when you do get the time what, in the evening, is when I would get my time. This is probably got to sleep early, and then I've got a few hours before I go to sleep with the TV to myself and the kids is asleep. And it's like right now I can play a game. So, sort of. <laughs> but yeah. I think at the moment I'd rather just watch TV than just mm -hmm. twi just mess about on Twitter or whatever. Or yeah, kind of veg like out. That. Just That's just turn kind of your brain what I like off. Doing it at the yeah. moment where I'm, I just sit in my iPad and catch up in the sort of football news and read twitter or whatever that is kind of what i like to do yeah and watch tv whereas i could be spending a few hours playing a game so really the only time i get to play a game in that case is at the weekend so it just depends mm. how busy you are with the weekend i mean i'm if there was a game i really wanted to play i would make the time you can be sure yeah. i would be playing it during the day i'd be playing it at the weekend and in the evening, so if there's a game that really grabs me, I'm definitely playing it. But it's just at a moment that isn't really. Yeah. And are you getting Shadow of the Colossus? I oh, know I'm asking yeah. everyone that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're like, are you getting it? I just want to know. I just yeah. <laughs> I am. Yeah. So I'm oh, you said you were getting it digitally. You want an idiot? You said that already. So, yeah. I'm, <laughs> so I'm. I know I'll make time to play that. So yeah. And I'll definitely be making time to play Spider Man, God of War, and Detroit as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to all of them. I hope they all come out this year. Hope they yeah, come this as well. Yeah, that would be nice. What about Far yeah. Cry 5? Because that's coming out soonish, isn't it? That's March, isn't it? It is March somewhere, yeah. 27th. Is anyone excited for that? I kind of am. I've got to be a um, little bit excited because I'm reviewing it. <laughs> I think if I'd not just finished... I think the thing is, I've only played um, one real Far Cry game, if you know what I mean, because I didn't really see Far Cry Primal as sort of being at the same level as Far Cry 4. So I feel like because I've only played one Far Cry game, I'm still really enjoying the world. But maybe once I've played Far Cry 5 and I realise that they're quite similar, I might be like, oh, I'm not really bothered about playing Far Cry 6 when that comes out, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So I'm kind of excited for it. I think the only thing that gets me a bit Far Cry games is it's another one I can't finish I yeah. enjoy it but then I never ever finish them I kind of <laughs> put a few three, four, five hours in them and then I think right I've had enough now I'm yeah. on to something else generally and it's kind so that's tends to happen with Ubisoft games for me but well it's another open is it it's open world isn't it's it open world yeah so yeah there's all that kind of faff that comes with it i'm sure yeah. it's great i remember um when i was playing far cry 4 i was looking at the counter at what percentage i was through the game and i said something like i was 30 percent through the game and i followed this mission through and it was like congratulations you finished the game and i was like what <laughs> really <laughs> oh, yeah, that was only 30 percent and there's all that other 70 percent left to do yeah but i don't think i'd go back and do that you know, like for me, see, I like the setting of open world games, but I'm not really the biggest fan of completing open world games because I just think they try and throw a lot of different things in there to make it seem like a diverse and open world. So there's hunting challenges and then you've got to go and liberate outposts and sometimes it just feels a bit too much. Yeah. So I'm more of a, 
while I'm still doing the storyline, I'll go and I'll liberate outposts and I'll do hunting challenges and I'll protect villagers. But as soon as I finish the main game, I'm not really ever going to see myself going back to Far Cry 4 and going, oh, I'll just finish every other side quest, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. there's a lot, isn't there? There's so there? much, yeah. It yeah. just feels a bit, like, crushing, if I'm being honest. Like, oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Need to move on to something else. Need to make room for Shadow of the Colossus. Exactly. Everyone needs to make room for that. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm looking for that. After that, I don't really know. God of War, I think this in Detroit. I think they're all before the summer or meant to be round about before summer. But we'll see. I think they're maybe the main ones. I'm excited yeah. for that will grab my attention. I'm maybe crack down as well if it's any good if it actually comes out. I don't really know otherwise. But yeah, yeah. so hopefully this time next week when we see all what we've been playing, I've been. A time to play Shadow Courses. <laughs> so you yeah. can all talk about it. And yeah. even that Batman episode, if I, because that they would take two hours to play. So I generally try yeah. to get them done. I'm sure we've done something along the lines of uh, like what games would we want remastered or something. But maybe we should base or try we and do. We called an article about it. Yeah, maybe we could all yeah, talk if we're it. gonna talk or eulogize about Shadow of the Colossus next week we should tie in the topic with it yeah. maybe I don't know get some people's opinions and stuff because they've obviously done a brilliant job in bringing it back to life and everyone seems so excited to play it, it but it's funny isn't it because then maybe a year or so ago everyone was moaning about all these remastered games coming out <laughs> and now we're all like yeah remastered games yeah like, we're so excited for the new ones <laughs> but, mm. completely off topic but do you ever get that when when you're somewhere today for me it was at the gym and someone's just either says something or like sometimes i listen to a podcast and it's really funny and i can't help but laugh out loud yeah and you're just sitting there trying not to laugh and, oh, oh. Alexa. No, just, <laughs> Alexa loves getting involved in the podcast <laughs> she does, <doesn't> she? <laughs> what what <laughs> She somehow thinks that I stir for the recipe for sushi. But <laughs> anyway, but sometimes you're just sitting in, you're trying not to laugh. If it's today, it was a tweet, but sometimes I listen to Chris Moore's podcast and they're just so stupid that they have me in stitches. And I'm just sitting there at the at the weight machine, pure trying to laugh. <laughs> yeah. And people was pure going, "Are we going to that way?" But today it was somebody <laughs> tweeted about Justin Timberlake and. And oh, and the had, Super Bowl. They had a picture of him wearing this sort of red scarf. And and they said, who wore it best? And it was a picture of him wearing this red scarf. And then they had a picture of a, a, a German shepherd wearing the same <laughs> red scarf. <laughs> For some reason, it just really cracked me up. <laughs> Some people are so good on Twitter, aren't they? They just do yeah. stuff like that, and you just think, "Oh man, I wish my brain was wired that way to exactly. just it see things so like funny. that." I was just in the stitches. I was like, oh, "It's the funniest thing I've seen." <laughs> Doing, but I don't know why. I just that was at random thought there because I just saw a picture <laughs> of him wearing that scarf, <laughs> and it just reminded me of that tweet. You're still seeing it. Yeah, yeah. it's funny. Anyway, do we have any questions? I'd just ask for some there, just in case. Oh, I don't do know, if we I had don't know if we have any. Mm. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I, I, I didn't ask anybody this week. I <laughs> actually just asked a bit. Oh. Oh, we are live ago. tweeting. We're yeah. live tweeting, eh? I, I thought I'd ask for it, mate. It's good, just in case we've got any. But everybody's probably eating their dinner. Yeah. But we forgot right. to ask. Oh, disgrace. We're not very good, are we? <laughs> get these things. We just well, we'll get them. We're hoping to record every Monday at around five or six o'clock going forward. So people are more than welcome to tweet us anything anytime and we'll discuss it. Yeah, we'll we did have one actually. Hold on, hold on. Oh, Someone one. did ask something the other day. I know we're dragging this out a little bit now. Was How long should we perfect podcast? Earlier, though, or was it a different one? Uh, I don't remember. It was someone tweeted me and you and Square X OJ. Wasn't that the one you'd mentioned earlier then? The was it? I don't know. My FIFA? brain might be being. I think it was. I think it was the one about FIFA that we talked a bit earlier. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. What a Wally. It was. Yeah. 
going mental. Deja vu there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you were. I was too. Well, I was forgetting it. Yeah, no, we don't have any questions, sadly. Oh. No one loves us. Yeah, we're bad podcasts. Let's just have a look at what's coming out then, because we've no... Shadow of the Colossus. Colossus. <laughs> this is it. This game's called Detective Pikachu as well. I don't know what that's all about. Oh, that's coming God. Out this month. No idea what that's all about. I keep seeing it and thinking, Detective Pikachu, what's that all about? It's that 3DS um, game, isn't it? And he talks, Pikachu speaks. I don't, that's actually the only thing I know about it. That sounds a bit weird. Uh, uh, I kind of don't <laughs> care about that. I know Bayonetta 2's out this month, but oh, I don't cool. think... I just don't play my Switch. just don't play it. Just, I don't like, have it. Just, it's, I, it's actually out in the 16th, Bayonetta 2. Uh, oh, soon then, yeah. I mean, that's a good game, but I just... I just... just don't... I just, I just don't get on with my Switch. I like it, but it's just a bit like my Wii U, where it's just kind of sitting there, not getting used. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. I love it. I love the idea of it. And I love, yeah, I love everything about it, sort of idea of it, the way it's designed, the way the games look. But it's, it's not PlayStation. The games that are on it. Exactly. <laughs> I know. See, if that was and a PlayStation, I don't think, I think I would play games a hell of a lot more if that was a PlayStation. I think I would just make the time. I would just be a lot more than I do now. I think instead of spending time on TV, I'd probably be sitting in my bed playing <laughs> the games. And yeah, and I know I people... Eat, but... People... I had someone on Twitter kind of saying, oh, you're a fanboy, blah, 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 and having a little bit of a ghost, kind of <laughs> saying I was, um, I don't know, blinded by Sony or something. And I'm not... I'm all for diversity and playing different things, but to me, I just much prefer the PlayStation as a system. And yeah. I think that's the biggest issue with me with the Switch is that it's just not what I'm it's currently used to. It's not in the environment that I'm playing. So, and yeah, it is great. I do agree. But it's just not what I want to play. It's just so. a shame because you think of that system and you think to yourself, oh, how amazing would it be to play Uncharted on this or Last of Us or, or God of War Spider-Man or even... Assassin's Creed Origins or whatever. <laughs> so yeah. It's sort of big bird part. How amazing would it be to be able to play the games you really like playing on your PlayStation on the Switch and get the trophies and all that sort of thing? It would just be amazing, wouldn't it? The thing is, you, you can. You can remote play on Vita. Yeah. I know it's, it's not the same. same. <laughs> <laughs> but you can do it. So it, yeah. it, it does it work is. well. I've done it before I, I remember i played a lot of knack that way and yeah like, uh, i just quite like doing it but it's just not the same the screen is just on the switch it's just the perfect size it's just, yeah. <laughs> I just wish there was a vita 2 like a switch it'd be just amazing yeah i share that wish i share that wish so much <laughs> but one day seeing that given how well the Switch is selling, I mean, it is the sort of system of the moment. PlayStation 4 start, sales are starting to slow a little. They're still, they're still gangbusters, but it's probably going to, need to sell 100 million in its lifetime, I would think. But yeah, it's got to get there, yeah. It is slowing down slightly, whereas Switch is sort of on the up. Switch is the one selling really, really well now. So Sony's got to... Sony will look at that and think, well, they're on to something here. And who knows what PlayStation 5 will be. It might be that PlayStation 5 is just a brilliant console, like we're all used to with the PS4 and Pro, but somehow they release this extra screen that you can play where you want to go if you want to. You just don't know, do you? They no. You don't know what they're going to do. We can live in hope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, I mean, we just need to wait and see, do we? Because there's no doubt they'll do something that we're not expecting. And maybe it'll be something like that. Who knows? And if yeah. people go, oh, well, it's just got Switch, I'll be like, yes. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Best of both well worlds. Next Switch Nintendo's idea. It's a good idea. I'm all well for it. <laughs> yeah. So we'll, just well, that's what innovation does, isn't it? That's what. That's why we've got... DualShock controllers because the N64 had an analog stick. That's why we've got 
the mm. rumble because the N64 had a rumble pack. You know, a lot of the stuff that we as PlayStation players have inherited is because of what Nintendo has done in the past. That's yeah. true. I'm sure that's the other way around as well. Oh, it is as well. Memory cards, um, like uh, internal hard drives, uh, internet. Well, internet gaming was from the Dreamcast. So that's but that's why competition is so important, and that's why we, you know, that's why it's great that Microsoft are trying and Nintendo are trying and, and Sony are trying because we, as an industry, it needs that input from different parties to make sure that everyone's on their toes and doing what they should be doing to improve everything so you know i'm all for competition and i'm all, I'm all for that kind of stuff so. exactly. i think it's brilliant it's it's what kind of makes it drives gaming on really it's what makes it it's what's made it go from if you think of what a ps1 game looks like to what a ps4 game looks like now <laughs> yeah exactly it's the innovation the competition everything it's just all combined to sort of make the games as great as what they are now. Yeah, it's so important that it's the, it's the same with everything. I always liken it to F one. You know, F one teams would never progress, or, or or cars and automobiles would never progress if it wasn't for the competition in F one. You know, and that that search for the perfect engine or the perfect I don't know, you know, wheels or whatever tires and that is all because of competition. Mm. So, yeah. Anyway, that is well off topic, but <laughs> just you know, something that is important within the industry. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, worth, it's worth talking about, I'd say. Yeah. Anyway, I think we've run out of things to say now, so I think we'll just <laughs> put up. We've got a nice episode fifties next time, so we're looking forward it is. to that. Very exciting. We need we'll to, to think of something to do. Yeah. We won't think now because we'll be silent on the podcast for half an hour. But yeah, yeah. we should do something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we'll leave that to next time. We'll should definitely do something. Maybe our listeners will have an idea. Maybe we should do some awards. Yeah, that'd for be something good. I don't know what, like yeah, something. <laughs> type of awards. Hey. What type of awards? I don't know. Just favorite moments. Yeah. Our favourite podcast presenter. Could do a panel. <laughs> oh, it's going to start with like five. Yeah. Okay. Then. No, we won't. We'll leave it. We'll wrap it up, and we'll be back for episode fifty next week. So thanks for joining us, everyone, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for now. Bye. Bye. Bye.